Hi everyone, welcome back to Coffee Talk. It is Saturday, September 26th, 2020. Let's get into it. All right, Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash. Oh. Cats are the best creatures on earth, research has proven. They are super cuddly. I do wonder if the page that it gives us in the beginning of the whispers columns, like if Freya is the one writing these ones that we're reading. Welcome. Oh, oh. Um, welcome. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Ah, uh, the usual earthly linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? But if is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh, yes, we have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyways. Ah, what do you mean? It is all right. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. Anything. Anything! Hmm. We'll try this. We'll see if this combination's good to anybody. I always love this graphic right here. Like, I think it's so cool. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it is to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. What? Um, yes. Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes. Why did you put your finger in your drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Um, oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually a polyprothene drinking apparat. App oh my god, there's too many. <laughs> Usually a polyprothene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes, we wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of our drinking occasions we encounter. And it has become one of the biggest single-use pollu pollutants on your planet. I do know that. I did a project over that. <laughs> anyway, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did, but thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our apprehendages into the liquid mixture you call drink. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision making processes. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details, but we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what the earthlings call a female, and then breed. Oh, okay, so you come from a faraway place to find a date? Date. Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our language. Yes, we do. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to, to make communication more direct and simple. 
Of all the places we have been to, this place is the worst communication methods. Oh my god. Thank you. Can't argue with that. So, how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application according to our data. It is the biggest source of breeding interactions on Earth, although the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. What? I never heard about- wait, are you talking about a dating app? This system used a fire symbol as their same sign. You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires that a person it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Oh my. And when two interactions swipe right between each other, they can communicate that that they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them? Some of them actually did not get mad? Oh, some of them are laughing with the text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear, but some did? Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings, even though we decided to go various recommended places according- I didn't read that. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes! Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes! But she should have arrived time ago. Maybe each earthling has a different interpretation of time. You're right about that. Oh my god, please don't let this be the person. Oh! Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Coffee latte, please. Of course. Coffee latte. Coffee and milk. Twice. Got it. Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. Um, excuse us. Yes. Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pew orc. You're an orc, but your name is Orc High 69 Oh my god. Is this guy sane? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. <laughs> I'd say. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Orc High 69 No. My name is Myrtle, and I never use Orc High 69 anywhere. Oh! You really are not her. Oh, she's getting ticked. Myrtle is ticked. Of course not. Seriously, men nowadays, if you're the desperate, if you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? <coughs> or go to a club or something. But we don't have any friends on Earth. Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man, pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search resort, according to the search results, 
There are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Look, this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. Oh my. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. I'm sorry to have to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm, that was... We are a pretty objective people, but somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. Has this happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it must be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategy to breed? The most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never cease to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately, but we'll visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Maddie. Thank you for your time, Maddie. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called norm, by the way, the uh, breeding norms. Although you can use strategies as a keyword. We'll keep that in mind. Okay, then we are off. Take care on your way. I want to see why there's an exclamation point. Oh, hey, I have a... Hey, look at that. Georgie is three bars. Okay. Writer. Close friends only. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Father of three beautiful girls. Friends, only close friends allow. Lua? Ooh. Cool. So we can see all the things about, like, our customers that come in and stuff. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, they're a game developer! That's pretty cool. Brew pad, what do we have? Ginger presides over the ground. Ooh, I wonder if this would work for Gala. There we go, now we can get rid of those. <laughs> What's this? Oh, cool. We can shuffle our music. Take care on your way. Hmm. Oh, hey, we got a new customer. I wonder if it's Freya. Hey! Whoa, boy, who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. Was What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Like, <laughs> the, the dog? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit before going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common, but it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like Englishman in New York alien or alien alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions, I don't know. Wow, like super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but wow. Life is never boring here. That's what I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? 
Yes, the writing. By the capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice, may I see it? <laughs> Bray, are you lying to us, girl? Are you lying? Are you lying? What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of it. So you're planning to show it all along. I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyways. Come on, I know the drill, and I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. All right, all right. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. <laughs> now, will you hand it over? <laughs> Poor Freya. It's okay, Freya. Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? I'm sure it's fine. Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done just yet. Oh, hey. Welcome, would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. No need to hurry, take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you want, as long as I have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai, the tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai, please, then. Okay. Madison, we need to see. Spicy chai. Spiced lady. Chocolate chocolate, milk, and cinnamon. All right, we got this, we got it. Hopefully this is it. Oh my gosh, please be it. I've not been on my game lately. Your drink is ready. Hmm, I, yes miss. Oh, nothing. I should give it a try for, no! As I thought. What did you think of it, miss? The drink is, it's good, but it's not what I ordered. Oh my, that was my mistake, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, are you sure? Yes, understood, miss. Oh, where were we? The main character? The character feels very you. You bet, if readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally, and having the main character think like me makes it easier to write, if you say so. Err, uh, sorry. Hmm. Did you say something? Yes, sorry. For interrupting, are you a fictional writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. <sighs> Short stories for the newspaper, or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a rob- da da. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Yay! Wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fictional writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. 
And even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. A lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Ah, uh, pardon me. My name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is Maddie. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? Thanks. You said you can't write. But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's a descript but it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something that media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my, I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Haha, <laughs> come on, you don't need to have to worry. Uh. Haha, <laughs> come on, you don't have to worry so much about any everything. It's alright. Excuse me for interrupting? Yes, you said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering techniques for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You worked on... You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the things you've worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way, but you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Uh, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further, but could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some of my friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but uh, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This full metal conflict series you two are talking about, is it the same series that's getting a movie adaption soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a very unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium. And FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of games you might see in art galleries. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play artsy games are gamers that are bored of current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of the players are not gamers, and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. <laughs> Sorry, I rambled on for too long, but at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know? Nailed it. So, you understand my point about the adaption, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to get back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to get home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine, and of course it won't be bothering me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Maddie. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with writing. You take care on your way out, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. So, yes, that was a nice talk, but you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet, and I can see the way you're reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. Seriously? That's it? 
I'm not an editor. But you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious, that much is true, but I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me, but this won't be short, and I will really be honest about it. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay, let's start at the beginning. I bet it's an amazing thing that she's writing. So, I don't know if I will be playing this game again. Um, I really, really have enjoyed it, but it's going off of Game Pass in a day, and I don't know if that means, like, tomorrow it'll be gone, or the day after tomorrow it'll be gone. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is sadly the end of this series. I have very much enjoyed playing this game. It's such a cozy little fun game. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like these cozy games, I would definitely love to play more of them. I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day.